Thousands of people flock to H Street today to celebrate and be part of the H Street Festival. The annual tradition started nearly 20 years ago, and our Washington, D.C. reporter Felicia Ashley was there today. Tonight, she has a look at the efforts to improve safety in the H Street corridor and the impact those efforts are making in the neighborhood. This time last year, business owners tell us they were enjoying the festival, but also concerned about the prior increase in crime. But this year, they tell us that is not on the top of their mind because they have noticed and felt a change here in their neighborhood. Food, music, and business. It's great to see a bunch of different cultures out here, a bunch of different vendors promoting their businesses. The thousands of people and lines of vendors told 7 News the H Street Festival is a reflection of the growth and changes in the area. I think overall in D.C. has been a lot better than last year, but specifically on H Street, like none of my employees' cars have uh, been broken into. Uh, customers have not really been complaining about. Neb Daniels says he chose to open the Focus Social Club on 8th Street because of the corridor's history. He says the business had concerns last year. 7 News reported on a string of burglaries in the area and a 25% jump in violent crime. Yes, as far as the MPD, they put uh, certain stations up so they could recognize crime immediately, and I think they helped the community. This year, the MPD crime map shows a safer H Street from the start of the year to today. It shows there have been 136 fewer incidents compared to the same time last year. Here you feel safe, you feel comfortable out here in the crowd. Yeah, I feel safe. I feel secure. I feel very comfortable. It feels good to be with my friends and family exploring everything that the vendors and everybody has to offer out here. And that gives business owners the peace of mind that they say allows them to focus on the core of the 8th Street Festival, keeping businesses and families in the neighborhood. Between uh, being exposed to new businesses and then those that's been here for a while or a long time ago coming back and experiencing it again and figuring out, oh my God, I need to be back here again. The MPD crime stats show that the main concerns for the area are still burglaries and thefts. However, the numbers also show that those crimes have also decreased significantly in this area as well. We're now reporting live from A Street Quarter, Felicia Ashley, 7 News. Well, a car, a 